Get it beat! Hi, I'm Elaine, and welcome to my kitchen. And Here today, we go, folks. And today I am making lemon butter pasta with roasted shrimp. And very simple recipe, very simple ingredients. I have one bag of the 12 ounce uh, raw, peeled, deveined, and tail off shrimp. This is uh, sequined, it's USA Gulf shrimp. You can use whatever shrimp you want as long as it's raw, peeled, and deveined uh, with tails off. And if you want to buy the ones with, with the shells on and take them off yourself, that's fine. I normally do. I just happen to find these at the grocery store. And uh, it's a yeehaw, I don't have to do all that this time. That's right. And uh, to it, let me drain this juice out of this water off of this real quick, and I'll be right back. Oh, it folks, was she done met, went and messed the pig up. She done some rearranging on one of her islands, and now the pig just got, it just got to where he started learning where some of her stuff goes, and now he's going to have to relearn some stuff, and that's awful hard for the pig. That's fine. Well, as you can see, this is the, the shrimp. You know, it's pale, deveined, and uh, tails off. It's just regular shrimp. Like my fingers on this towel here. And that's 12 ounces. Uh, to that, I'm going to add uh, half of a tablespoon of vegetable oil, one fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, and one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. You can use regular salt, you can use kosher salt, whichever one you want to use. And you just kind of mix all that together. And once you get it all mixed together, you put it on a pan. I've got my pan lined with aluminum foil. If you don't want to line your pan with aluminum foil, that's entirely up to you. But you want these out in a single layer. And once you get them in a single layer, you'll put them in the oven and cook them for about six to eight minutes until done. You want them to be, uh... well, there goes that alarm again. I'm always getting that alarm on there. Well, it's that time. Yeah. Anyway, got these in a single layer. Put them in the oven at 400 degrees in a preheated uh, 400 degree oven for six to eight minutes. And uh, you just want them to be cook slightly cooked through. Make sure they're done. And I'll show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. About how long is that going to take? Six to eight minutes. Six to eight minutes. Yeah. All right. And I've already got some water on to boil for my pasta. You got a climber behind you. There you go. Okay. Now I've got two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and a half a pound of pasta that I'm going to be taking over to my stove area. So we're going to pause for just a second while I go over to the stove to get my pasta started. There we go. Okay, I'm over here at the stove now. I have a pot of salted boiling water. And uh, I, I made sure it is boiling. I've got my half pound of pasta. And you can use uh, any type of spaghetti or linguine in this dish. It's entirely up to you, whatever you like. Personally, I bought what was on sale. Spaghetti. Yeah, you know, uh, if y'all have seen anything about my videos so far, you know I go for the what's on sale and the cheapest product I can find. That is good. I'm gonna go ahead and put my pasta in that water. That water's hot, y'all. Yeah, I stuck. Well, you can see all that steam coming off of it, so you you know that was your clue. I stuck my finger in it. And we're going to let this pasta cook, bring it back to a boil, let it cook five to eight minutes. Uh, I'm throwing stuff everywhere. She's trying to hit the pig, y'all. She's trying to hit the pig. Like I said, and uh, once I get my pasta done, I'm going to reserve about a half a cup of the pasta water. And that, along with the lemon juice and butter, is going to be the base of the sauce for my pasta and shrimp. 
This is boiling. I'll stir it every so often. But I'm going to go ahead and let that cook. I'm going to set a timer for seven minutes. I usually cook mine for seven to 12 minutes. So I'm going to cook it for seven minutes because it said five to eight. Okay, so we hit timer. And it's boiling good. Got it on seven. Bring the heat. Bring the heat back down to about six. So I've got this on about medium high heat boiling. And I'm going to cook it for seven minutes. And I'll check it at the seven minute mark and I may cook it for an extra minute or so. I'll go ahead and get this out so I can get my water out in a minute. And we'll take a quick break while this cooks. And I'll check on my shrimp while it's cooking. It's going to be about 30 seconds on the shrimp, and I rechecked the recipe. It did say five to eight minutes. It's been about almost eight minutes, and it says to cook it until pink or cooked through. Well, while that's finishing up, I want to show y'all something. This is something that the piggy made. Happy Guinea Pig made this. He's got uh, a channel that he, he does things on. Turn around. Welcome to the other side. Oh, this basically the same thing. Basically, and, but you, you yeah. see how the pattern's a little different. Yeah. This is a hot pad that I can set my stuff on. And I've got some smaller ones. And if y'all real good, she might show them to you here in a minute. Yeah. Cool. And that shrimp is done, y'all. That's why I set that on that. Put that off. And these right here are just three of the smaller ones that he's made me. In a light blue and yellow pad, uh, color. Hey, I've got some blue and black and some green ones with other colors. But uh, somebody on my live the other night suggested that well, rest of them out, show them out. That he sell these. Got another large one right here. Got a small blue and a yellow one. The blue and the black ones. So uh, we may be posting these on some uh, some like these on uh, our Facebook page. To sell. He may have messed around and got himself in a mess of work. But uh, this is what the shrimp will look like. It's slightly pink and cooked through. And I'm going to let this sit right here and cool for just a minute while my pasta finishes. Mm. And then once the pasta finishes and I get everything going with that, I will add this to the pasta. So we'll be back over to pasta in just a moment. And, uh, go from there. Um, we're down to the last few seconds on this. I'm going to go ahead and grab my pasta water out of here. I'm going to make sure I have about a half a cup. If I'm not mistaken, that ladle is right at a half a cup. And I'm going to have the uh, half a guinea pig to, empty, or to drain that for me. And what I forgot to mention a while ago is I need two, I need two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And I've got that. I need to stir. You don't have to. I, I, I need to stir. I got to put everything back in here in just a second. Put this back on. Put that off. I, and I need to melt this butter real quick. I'm going to do that with my, with my whisk going. And what I'll do is once I get this butter melted, I'm going to add the pasta back to this. And I'll add the two tablespoons of vegetable oil, the two tablespoons of lemon juice, and it calls for a teaspoon of salt, y'all. I don't know that I'm going to do a teaspoon of salt because I've already salted the water, I've already salted the shrimp. So I'll probably do about a half a teaspoon of salt. And that's the one thing that's good about this is that you can pretty much control how much salt is in this. You, you don't have to put what it says in the recipe. You can adjust it to your taste. Okay, I need the pasta, please. Oops. Put the pasta back in the stir. Pasta, pasta, la di da di da Get that all in here. Okay. Now I'm going to pour the oil in on top of that. I'll pour the Lemon juice in on top of that, and the salt on top of that, and then I'll take my little doohickey there, oh, and we got to pour the water in. Forgot the water, y'all. 
Yeah. Surely not. That smells good, y'all. Cut that down. Okay. And I've got to add the shrimp. And this will be done, y'all. That's how quick this dish is. And I'm just going to put that juice off that shrimp in there, too. I'm just going to scrape all that in there. Oh, man, y'all. I'm making myself hungry. <laughs> I think I'm going to grab a couple of plates. Yeah, let me get this aluminum ball out of here. Okay. Which ones you want? It don't matter. I just want to Red, black, or an awful big one. The red or black ones, it don't matter. Just whatever you grab a hold of. You can tell I ain't picky. While he's doing that, I'm going to move this stuff right here out of my way real quick. Grab a couple of forks. Cut this off. It's about to be yummy time, yo. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, yeah. Dice the piggies. Get me a little bit right now, and I'll add some more. Take that picture here in just a minute. Yeah, I have loved this, and I found this recipe in a Food Network magazine around 20 years ago. The original creator of this dish, I have no idea, but I'll give credit where credit's due. I found it in a Food Network magazine, like I said, around 20 years ago. And uh, fell in love with it because it is so simple to make and it tastes great. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow, y'all, it's so good. And what makes it even better is the fact if you want to add steamed asparagus, steamed broccoli, or any other kind of vegetable to this and make it your own, you can. With try, I've tried it with the steamed broccoli and it is really good with steamed broccoli. You can put any kind of side with it that you want. I would suggest maybe green beans or maybe a salad. But uh, as far as it is, this is an excellent dish if you like shrimp. So I want to thank you very much for watching. Okay, I've got... we got some snapping popping going on. Yeah, don't know what's going on over there. But uh, again, thank you very much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where am I going?